Bus Sumo Complete Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, we're going to be talking about Bus Sumo and how you can completely use this video in your easiest and most epic way possible. So, to start things off, let's actually discuss what Bus Sumo really is and what it can do for you. So, Bus Sumo is this website that we have over here, okay? And it's from tracking mentions to finding creative content ideas, everything that comes around those tools, they have got you covered. You know, it's a tool that helps you analyze your content engagement, track trends, and spot outreach opportunities across social and search. Use it to find new content ideas, customer questions, and journalist contacts, all while monitoring what's most important to your brand. Okay, so let's start things off by actually creating an account with them okay so here it says start your 30-day free trial which is what i'm going to do so i'm going to go ahead and click on that now once we click on that it says no credit card required which is amazing that is exactly the image a lot of people look for that uh, you know they use a trial without a credit card and then we're just going to enter our email we're going to enter our password once you do that you're going to enter your dropbox Go ahead and agree and start your free trial. Now, once your free trial starts, they're going to ask you questions. So tell us about yourself. This way we can personalize your experience for a more seamless workflow and help you reach your goals quicker. So, you know, what are your main goals? There could be content research, monitoring media, finding journalists, content measurement. I'm going to go with content research. Okay, which country region are you based in? Obviously, you're going to tell them the place or the region you live in. I'm going to go with United States. Are you an agency? So if you're a solopreneur or freelancing, you're going to go with no. But if you're an actual agency, you're going to go with yes. I'm just uh, going to stay with no for now. And I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. Now, once we do this, it's going to first bring us over here. This is, uh, you know, a lot like uh, Yahoo Mail. It's going to bring us to some trending feeds. But with those trending feeds, the fun part about this is that it's going to show us the trending score on how high it is on trending right now and what the engagement is and on what platforms the engagement is. So, yeah, basically, that's how you can follow things up and uh, you can keep scrolling down to uh, get, you know, more and more details. Handler could learn if K9 Igor will be returned after a special meeting. And then, you know, you see trending score, you see engagements, you see the platform, which is trending, etc. Now, obviously, this is not the best place to, you know, actually configure things for ourselves. Now, you're going to come to discover, okay? Obviously, you can go into content and get all these analyzers. Analyzers are researching the top performing content, okay? We're going to get into that in a second. But right now, I'm going to come on discover. And in discover, you have content ideas generator where you can get ideas from their index of 8 billion places. There's training feeds, which we are on now. Topic Explorer, where you can generate endless content ideas. There's Keyword Tool, where you can enhance your content with top keywords. And then there's Question Analyzer. So I'm going to go in Content Ideas Generator real quick. And you're going to enter a keyword, okay? So let's say I'm going to go with SEO. Let's go with SEO, and I'm going to search that up. And now it's going to tell us, step one, research your topic, all right? So get ideas from the most evergreen content. You know, you have all these evergreen scores, linking domains, you have total engagements, and you have all the keywords over here. So Google Search Console, SEO meaning, search engine optimization, SEO marketing, SEO tools. There's trends, volume, CPC, and you get all these other related topics to those keywords, which can obviously update your search engine optimization, okay? Then you can move on to keyword tool, okay? This is specifically for keywords. So let's say I'm going to search in SEO again. That's going to specifically give me different keywords out of those keywords that we have over there, all right? And you can see their full insights as well to see all their analytics and details. You have Topic Explorer where you can search different topics for yourself. So let's say I'm going to write SEO over here, and it's going to search up different topics in the form of SEO for me, okay? And look at that. So, you know, SEO tools, on-page SEO, search engine marketing, keyword search. So a lot of topics with the SEO name on it. Then there's question analyzers. This isn't too important, but 
This is just to analyze different questions for different people by entering an SEO. So what would be a more relevance to a BE graduate, SEO or SEM, etc. You know, you get the point. Now we're going to come up to content. So here you can analyze different contents and different uh, brands of social media. So find and analyze the most engaging articles and blogs. So you're obviously going to search some media list. I'm going to go, let's say, with Nike.com. Okay. Nike.com is a pretty famous store. So let's go ahead and search them up and see their analytics. Now, here's Nike's analytics right in front of us. You know, you can see their social media engagement. So their Air Jordan 13 Black and Altitude Green release date. Their Facebook engagement is 43.6 thousand. Their shares on Twitter are this much. Their Pinterest shares are this much. Their Reddit engagement is this much. And this is their number of links and their total engagement. You know, pretty basic and pretty easy stuff. Then obviously it goes on and on and on to, you know, help us and give us a pretty general idea of how the content analyzer works for us. You know, it analyzes all the different engagements that your content has. Then moving on, once we've talked about this, Let's go ahead into Facebook page analyzer. You know what we did for a content analyzer, we can do similarly, we can do that for Facebook page, okay? So you can authenticate your own Facebook page and then slowly start moving over to the content to actually analyze it in the easiest way, to analyze it simply, to analyze it pretty easily, okay? Then moving on, what you can do is obviously analyze YouTube. And by this, I mean you can analyze proper YouTube channels, full-fledged YouTube channels for yourself. Now, moving on from YouTube Analyzer, you can go into your backlink analyzer, and you can find the pages that link to a URL or domain. Obviously, this is not very useful, but you could obviously use this if you want to. Then there's the outreach tools, which is, you know, finding and engaging with journalists most relevant to your specific topics. This is obviously to increase your outreach or to optimize your outreach, basically, then there's influencers where you can search different influencers related to your topics or keywords on different social media platforms. Those are obviously more for, you know, uprising your name, upbringing your name out in the social media world. Obviously, these are things for that. But the main things that you're going to find is obviously going to be in content and discover. These are the areas where you're going to get all the main um, relevant topics and the relevant key details to work with. And it also says research popular content, browse the world's largest index of social media engagement data, find the content that works best and get actionable insights. And there's also sparking content ideas by browsing. You can find top influencers, obviously. Just these are the basic tools that when it comes to using BuzzSumo, okay? So basically, it's amazing for content generation engagement analytics and uh, you know mostly generation okay you can get generated tools generated keywords generated content ideas generated topics everything can be generated with the click of a mouse it's absolutely incredible and uh, that's the general idea of uh, you know this program so yeah that is uh, pretty much about it for this video now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.